करेंगे 2012 सिविल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 द रेशियो ऑफ एक्चुअल इवापोर ट्रांसपेरेशन टू पोटेंशियल इवापोर ट्रांसपेरेशन इज इन द रेंज ऑफ फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन रेफर टू दिस एन पी टेल वीडियो लेक्चर ही आस्किंग दैट द रेशियो ऑफ एक्चुअल इवापो ट्रांसपेरेशन टू पोटेंशियल इवापो ट्रांसपेरेशन so this data will be helpful for us to find out the answer of this question potential evapotranspiration is defined as the evap evapotranspiration which would occur if there was always an adequate water supply available to fully vegetated surface pt is the upper limit of evapotranspiration for a crop in a given climate If the water supply available is less than PT, the deficit will be drawn from the soil moisture storage until the available soil moisture is reduced to about 50 percent. Beyond this, the actual evapotranspiration AET will be less than PT until the wilting point is reached when evapotranspiration ceases. AET varies from zero to PT. So. first when we add water add water to crop add water to crop so the evaporation evaporation will happen now if the water we stopped adding uh, we stopped giving water to the crops the crops will be use their soil moisture content if we do not stop this watering if we continue watering then this evap evaporation of water will keep on continuing so if we keep on providing this water the evaporation will be at its max that is called as a pt potential evapotranspiration but in actual condition we do not provide this continuous water so the actual actual uh, evapotranspiration will be less than pt so for this question our answer will become option c 0 to 1 thank you Thank you.